things I want to go over with you tonight is found in Philippians chapter 4 and it helped me to get a, a mindset that is able to continue through whatever problems whenever I'm feeling weak I'm not talking about just going for a run I'm talking about doing life whenever you hit the wall so to speak and you're exhausted this is what this is what the scripture says Paul wrote to the church at Philippi and I need someone to read this for me Philippians 4, 13. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Now, how many things is that? Three, Three things to everything. all of them. It's everything, okay? Maybe. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That doesn't mean you can do all things in your own strength. Our own strength is limited. And we, you know, the longer that you live, the the kind of quicker you find out your strength fails earlier. Now, one thing I gotta teach you though is that when it comes to limits, we put a lot of limits on ourselves that I wanna teach you this attitude. How many things can you do through Christ or with Christ in your life? All things. All things. Okay. Paul said he learned he could do all things. Now this chapter what he's talking about is really interesting because he says in this chapter, right before this, he had written to this church and said, you know, guys, I rejoice that you guys have remembered me and, and you revived your concern for me. When Paul wrote this letter, he was actually in jail. And he got word that the Philippian church was, you know, saying, hey, we're, we're, um, we're concerned about you. Here's a love gift. You know, we know you're in jail. And back then when you were in jail, it wasn't like, the state provided for you. If you didn't have friends that gave you stuff to stay alive, you starved. You just perished in jail. And so the church sent uh, apparently a love gift to Paul. And he says to them, guys, I'm, I, I thank you for the gift. But he actually has a different attitude. He says, I don't thank you because of, like, for my greed, I wanted the money from you. But because I know that what you gave me is going to get get treasure for you. Now listen to this. This is what leads up to him saying, I can do all things. Okay? He says, I learned this secret. I know, he says in verse 12, how to get along with humble means, and I also know how to live in prosperity. He said, in any and every circumstance, I learned the secret both of being filled and going hungry. Both of, of having abundance and suffering need. Now he's in jail right now. So he says, I know the secret, he says, of this. And here's the secret. But Paul said, I'm content whether I have a lot or I have a little. It doesn't matter. Okay? Because he learned what? To be content with whatever God gave him. And then he, he explains one of the greatest attitudes. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Not through your own strength, not through your own effort but through Christ strengthening you to do stuff because how much strength does Jesus have I mean does he ever run out you know when you hit when you hit the end of your strength then all of a sudden well the Paul actually wrote this he said he learned he said when I am weak then I am what strong, strong. Mm -hmm. but where is his strength when he's weak okay. it's not himself because he's weak it's from the Lord. He, he learned this cool thing that I wish I could teach every young person that whenever they feel weak, you're actually not in a bad place spiritually. Because when you're weak, you're more, you're more willing to accept help. And we need to be humble enough to say, God, I'm feeling weak. Anyone here ever felt weak and needed help? You know, you're like, I need some help. If you're, if you're humble enough to say, I need help. Will God help you? <laughs> yeah. And Paul said, man, I learned when I'm weak, that's when I'm really strong. It's because it's not his own, he's not going, it's my own strength. He's saying, it's the Lord who strengthens me. If you start feeling weak in something, ask the Lord and let him strengthen you, okay? And that's all I got for you tonight. So it's a short study, but really important for you to do. Brother.